Hi, I'm Angela Chides Vincent, a 2006 grad and a member of the Fresno State Creative Writing Alumni Chapter. On behalf of Jefferson, Ronald, and the entire alumni committee, I'd like to extend my thanks to all who supported our most recent scholarship fundraising effort, the Fresno 15 Creative Writing Marathon. For the first time in three years, we're so happy to announce that we hit our goal of a $5,100 contribution to the new Larry Levis Memorial Scholarship. Further good news, we're on track for a permanent endowment for this scholarship by January 2024. This year, we're pleased to award the inaugural Larry Levis Memorial Scholarship to third year MFA student Delaney R. Whitebird Almo. Delaney is a writer of mixed indigenous and European ancestry whose work focuses on decolonial identity, language, intergenerational trauma, and myth-making. She currently serves as an editor for the Normal School and as an editorial assistant for the Philip Levine Prize. As a thank you to everyone in the Fresno writing community who's played a part in supporting this alumni chapters initiative and our next generation of Fresno writers, we'd like to introduce you to Delaney who will share one of her recent works. Please welcome Delaney. Hi, my name is Delaney Ray White Bertolmo. I am a third year poetry candidate here at Fresno State. I'm also the first Larry Levis scholar. So I just wanna take a moment and thank all the supporters for making this possible. I would also like to thank alumni committee member, Angela Chidas Vincent. So thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and read three of my poems that were recently published in News from Native California. Poem one, Soka Bik Kano Namuk. We are part of the memories of evolution, John Trudeau. Rising stars birth children of earth, ancestors to animal siblings and conscious universe. We are a part of sky infants drifting through time. Father do we and grandmother Ka'ai have loaned the earth to our ancestors, inherited to us the children of Wea, coming together in resistance against destruction of the world around us. Come together, stand together, and you must soka beak to the Wea embedded in the Ama, Kale, earth, and inside of ourselves. You must soka beak to the wea in the ia songs and ocean waves. You must listen to the ama and protect it. You must listen to our animal siblings. Remember our place here on this earth within the universe, standing together with wea and all creation, borrowed and embedded within our DNA and blood-filled existence. You must listen. Soka Beak, breathing all life, the hidden knowledge forever woven in the strands of our hair. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read poem two, The Parting Ceremony. After the ceremonial dance, your spirit jumped into the EO, beside the glowing pearl Kalasha. I followed your voice only to watch you depart on the wings of a sparrow. I ask, when you will return for me. And I'll go ahead and read my last poem, When He Will Return. Gathering seaweed at the shoreline with the bidu necklace around my neck, your voice calls me the ocean waves. Creator weaves me together with willow reed threads. With him, I will become a woman of his vision. Thank you so much.